Joining us now is international economist Cornelia Mayer. Cornelia is a contributor to the World Economic Forum and the Center for Global Energy Studies. Thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. Just about 10 minutes ago, I think I was speaking to a correspondent about the possibility of further sanctions against Russia yeah. uh, over the Ukraine crisis. So I guess it really is short-lived, this sort of slight boost. What do you think? Yeah, it is short-lived. And, you know, there are really big st structural imbalances. And you look at it, what I find particularly worrisome, which the rating agencies find worrisome too, is if you look at the foreign exchange reserves. In September, Russia had $450 billion of foreign exchange reserves. Now they only have $320 billion. You, we, we see capital outflows. Uh, Rasneft will have to pay $20 billion of debt back. So this, these are ever-dwindling um, uh, foreign exchange reserves. So, yes, that's not good for the ruble and it's not good for the Russian economy. I mean, it's interesting that both uh, Moody's and Standard & Poor's kind of give exactly the same reasons for downgrading the ruble. How do you think this is playing in Russia? Is it being seen as sort of, you know, Western agencies? Is there anything that Putin's government can do about the current situation? There's very little that, 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 that they can do. And yes, it, the, the Russians will see this as, 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 as Western agencies. But when you look at it, these agencies are not political. These are a bunch of economists crunching numbers. So this is not a political thing. This is just a statement of fact. The economy is it is in a slump it's downgrading and putin has missed a trick when oil prices were high and the going was good he should have diversified the economy more because 70 percent of exports are from oil and gas 50 percent of government revenue are from oil and gas mm -hmm. so really he should have put the economy on a broader base with more manufacturing and other things i mean obviously this will all be music to the ears of western leaders who've been imposing those sanctions to put the squeeze on Russia over what they perceive to be its actions uh, in Ukraine. So how much pressure do you think Russia is under now and will be, I mean, purely economically? Well, economically, they are under a lot of pressure. But what they say, what they see is they still have $320 billion of foreign exchange reserves. That's still quite a bit. And they also have a stabilization fund of about $80 billion, which they can use to, to even out the budget. And then they have a wealth fund of another $80 billion dollars. So, so in other words, way. they they have money. But you know, if you go through your savings, at some stage, you've gone through your savings. Cornelia Meyer, international economist and independent energy expert. Thank you so much for sharing your views with us. Thank, thank you. you.